very blessed day to all of us over here. Yes, it's another time here on the Tech IT channel. It's good you are here with me right now. Today, I want to talk about streaming and live sessions, like having live sessions and live broadcasting. Yes, yes. Don't worry. First, I want to do something for me. Have you seen that button down there? Please subscribe for more videos like this, okay? Okay, so today I'll be dealing with live sessions like the churches, a lot about churches, a lot about streaming platforms and all that, yes. Most of the times, artists who want to do live sessions and all that. Um, I would like to talk about it very small and just give you a tip and some kind of technical views on how to do certain stuff. Yes, sometimes you see people going live and say, ah, how did this happen and all that. I'm here to just brief you, just take you through a session like this. All right, Let, let's begin with the tools that you need to start a live session. Okay, starting a live session. Most of the time, churches use the wrong tools, wrong tools on their live sessions, especially with the computer they use. If you want to use a live, do live sessions, it's better you get a computer that is enhanced with good graphic quality because you are dealing with graphics over there. Yes, it's good you do that because it's processing something, taking the video, converting it to signals into another streaming platform. So you need a machine that can really work very fast or else you will be seeing your video lagging on the internet. Everything is all right on your desk, but it's lagging there. It is not because of the network. It is it is and it is, it, it is a result of the tools you're having, your materials, what you are using. Yes. Okay. So let me start by doing this. Firstly, if you want to do a live streaming and all that in a church or where whoever your your personal or private network, you want to just do a live streaming for a radio station for an internet radio or whatever these are the things you are going to need if you want to come live internet tv or whatever you can you have to get a camera we have the dslr cameras we have um that's what you will see on the screen there dsl cameras we have the normal webcam webcam i i think i'll show you the webcam yes that's a webcam too on your screen we have the normal cameras, you see, we have a lot of cameras over there in the market, which you can use. But normally, some of them are plug and play. Some also requires drivers and other technicalities before you can arrive at that point. Yes, especially the DSL cameras, connecting DSL cameras to your computer, it's a little bit technical. You have to get a video card that can connect your your camera to the computer via USB cable. Yes, so that is one thing you have to all know about the DSL cameras. Yes, it's very good. You know about that one too. And the second one is a webcam. That one is plug and play. Yes, it's just plug and play. All right. So with this ones, if you get them, the next one, the next tool or the next thing to get uh, maybe you are in a church, you want to do live stream as well as also project it in a church. Project it in a church. Project it in a church. You have to get an output channel. An output channel for your screens, your TV, your TV screens, which you are going to give one of these channels into the into another output channel of your computer. So you see some computers have HDMI. The RGB port and other ports, the, the display port and all that. You see, these ports are meant. If it is double, it means you can also use about two screens consisting of the monitor you are using and the other one. Now, my laptops, laptops have, I think, the screen and also another side in the my port for another output channel. This is for streaming or presentation and all that. Mm -hmm. That is where we use it much. That is what we use for projection and other things in the church. Okay. Um, with all these ones, there's also another one called the swisher. The swisher. The swisher helps you to switch between two either cameras or either 
output channels, either input channels or output channels, going into the machine or outside the machine. These switches can help you. Maybe you are connecting two computers to one projection unit. If you maybe you want to show this here, you click on that thing and fast it switches to you to the to the computer that is using as the vest or using that is being used for lyrics. And if you want to go to the video side, you click on the switch part and it takes you to that area too. Yes. So let me come to the cameras over here. Before you can do live streaming on the internet or in the church and all that, you want to do live and all that, you can't forget about sound. If you are talking about video over here, you need a sound. You need a sound card. A sound card. This sound card converts analog signals into digital signals. Yes. Convert analog. This is an analog system here. So it takes the sound over here as an input device and get it into the computer for processing. Then now you can hear it through your speakers out as an output. So this is one thing you know you have to get. Because if you say you are using the normal ear, ear plug channels, the earpiece channel of your computer, <laughs> I tell you, you will have you'll be having a distractive channel, distractive noise. Yes, it's not advisable. Sometimes people connect the mixer direct to the computer. It's good, but you have to make sure that your left and right is working well. You don't connect one. You don't connect one output as left and at the same time right. Your sound will be crashing. It will be just making a lot of noise. Yes, especially when the drums, the keyboard, and everything is playing. They just bash out and make some kind of noise, unpleasant noise that you will not like. And it's good that when you're doing live, try to minimize. Try to minimize by doing the live. Try to minimize the sound. Bring the sound down as well, like a moderate level. Don't bring it high. You see, don't bring it high. Sometimes the sound engineer, they want everybody to hear them. And you are just making noise. You're just making noise. I want you to get this. I want you to get this. It's good you get a, a sound card to control the latency of the sound. Control the latency of the sound. Yes. So please get a sound card. We have some sound, sound cards. Like I don't want to do advert for these people, but I have to just mention so you can go get them on the market. We have the, the focus right we have the onyx uh, i use the onyx yes i use the onyx over here we have the m audio we have the scarlet we have a lot of them m audio we have a lot of them we have the marquee a lot of sound card in the markets that you can get yes a lot of sound card that you can get over here and this comes also with um, a normal usb cord that will convert that goes behind the sound card to the computer just to convert the analog sounds to a digital one for your use. Yes, and not to stand. Let me talk about those who want to do live using only the computer, they don't want anything else. It's all is good when you are using the DAW also for your sound system, your sound in the computer. That is the next session. Let me talk about this more for you to understand. Okay, so now we have the tools, we have the video, and we have everything. So let's go into the computer right now. And talk about the application that you need to use. Some of the live streaming applications is good, very, very good for you. Very, very, very good to use applications. So those who do Facebook Live and all that, you need an application like OBS Studio, um, VMX. You, I, I use. I normally use the two. That's what I'm mentioning to you. I normally use the two, but VMX is a bit of a bit advanced than the OBS. OBS is, just, is for a simple day man. Very simple. You can see OBS on your screen there. Yes, OBS on your screen there. All you need to do is you just do your setup, setting up your video profiles, video inputs, that is the cameras that are coming into the computer. You check, you, you set your sound from your sound card. You select, select the sound card that you are using or your mixer. If you are using a mixer, you select the normal audio, the default audio. Yes, the normal uh, Intel audio. 
from your computer so you are going to select but if you are using a sound card you see that you have to install the driver first so you see the name of your sound card then you choose that sound card and you make sure it's installed yes then you choose that one and you know you normally will select the number of input sound inputs you want to use yes you want to use so if you want to use one just select that one and that means you are going to control everything on the sound card you're going to control the sound and everything on the sound card on the app on the sound card yes you are not going to use cut inside the computer again but as i said minimize the sound make sure it's on a moderate level not high so that it doesn't just beat up and make noise that's good so set up a video get everything going to settings also settings there you can have you see your live streaming and all that over there you select maybe if it's youtube facebook you select any one of them i want to stream then you go to facebook back to your channel where you are doing the live you copy something called the stream key the stream key there then you come and put it inside the application you're using to um do the broadcast and then you connect you go live and that is all everything there is live now now you know you have to know how to operate the obs and the vmix that is in my next video i'm going to show you how to do all that but today i came to talk about the tools you will need to do all these things yes and in case you want this kind of tools you can just call me i can i can help you get them all yes from the quality get the quality ones yes i'm there for you to assist you to get all these so one thing you have to know is know learn about the application and with this software you can put scriptures there you can do multi multi tax you can do multi things on your streaming line you can just be putting up lower tech you know the ministers like your name if you want to up, um, request for seat everything will be there everything will be there you are not going to run under any pressure it's going to help you there and it's good you get somebody if you want to if you are if you are due one person one, one, one person to play the keyboard whilst you you can just connect the keyboard directly to the system but i'll show you that one that's another one i'll show you it's best when you use daws to process your sound to the live to live sessions yes if you are if your sound engineer is not that good it's good to use a daw me i normally use future loops for my live sessions and not sometimes to cubase for live sessions yes for live sessions i i loop the sound i make i i i put the sound card connect the sound card to the to the daw then now i use a computer sound not the mesa sound or the daw sound i use a computer sound because it's not processed there so i can add my i can add every effect i want to add an effect like like um like the um, uh how do you call this the, the, the scissors the dss i can add compressors i can add repeaters i can add like just name them every effect i want so that it looks like a church complete church yes i can add every vst to it for it to look the sound to be very rich and if you hear you say ah is this a church or what there's nothing different about it too it's just softwares so i'm here to help you if you need a sound if you need somebody to connect you to the internet or you want a you want a live streaming or technical or telecommunications engineer i'm here for you to help you to could do all this setup if you, in case you have a church you need that kind of connections you need something like that to connect you i bet you i'm here for you you can just call me i will be of assistance to you yes that is it so i think i have to call it a day right now and let me give you another one there's one thing called stream yeah that's for multi-streaming people multi-stream purposes yes that one is so good for you get that one too get that software you just need to copy the link the streaming ip the streaming api or the stream key it's inside stream that one too you can stream at the same you can stream facebook